Good morning, traders. John Caruso coming to you here for the morning of May 7th. Uh, we are about T minus 10 minutes into the unemployment number this month. Uh, first, we're going to take a look at the stock market. Uh, we didn't mention uh, last week that uh, headed into May, you should expect some more two sided trading in the market. And that's precisely what we've seen here. Um, we have seen uh, a little bit of a bout of volatility. It does appear as if the volatility indexes are trying to break into a little bit of a higher trading range here, uh, which of course is gonna open up more two-sided trading throughout the course of May. Uh, but we ultimately think you should be keeping a bullish bias. Uh, if you did see uh, over the last couple of days, the S&P broke down, uh, down around the 4140 level right now as we come into the day, we're trading back above 4200. Uh, with upside here, uh, in the immediate term, we think to about 4215. So keep that number in mind as we head into the jobs data. Uh, taking a look at um, uh, the interest rate markets, uh, steady ahead of the number. We're sitting at about 157 on the 10 year yield. Um, we ultimately want to have a bearish bias on the bond market, bullish bias on interest rates. However, there is a very heavy short position in the bond market right now, uh, which makes that market ripe for a little bit of a squeeze. Uh, here over the course of the next couple of weeks. Um, we think at the very best on the upside, uh, the 30 year could maybe uh, stage a bear market rally up to about 164 at the best. Uh, and uh, in the 10 year, maybe uh, as high as 134. We think that's as best as the market can do here in the near term as it squeezes, uh, perhaps uh, puts on a little bit of a squeeze of that heavy short position that's been mounting. Uh, oil down, uh, looks like uh, about 63 cents here this morning. We do think oil will be approaching a buy zone here fairly soon, uh, down along 63, so keep that number in mind. Uh, last week we mentioned uh, the uh, high probability of the heating oil contract hitting up above $2. Uh, and we did recently see that happen over the last couple of days. Heating oil is pulling back uh, just a little bit uh, uh, this morning here. Uh, trading around 197. Uh, we also did mention last week gold. Uh, so long as it held above 17, 1760 to 1750 area, uh, that there was a pretty good probability that we reach above 1820. We're still not a fan of gold. As a matter of fact, we think gold is coming into the sell zone. We'll call the sell zone between about 1820 and 1850. Uh, as I look at the gold chart, we are staring at a more than uh, an approximately seven to eight month bearish trend in gold. And I don't think that that's going to end uh, so quickly. So we might have uh, one more big sweep on the downside um, before gold can perhaps start to uh, do a little bit better in the second half of the year. So keep that in mind for you. Uh, once again, I'm John Caruso. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Have a great one.